Throughout our nation's history, from Eli Whitney to Thomas Edison to Steve Jobs, great ideas have powered our economic prosperity and security. But the innovation and creativity that fuel job creation and competitiveness needs to be safeguarded to ensure a bright future for us all. I'm Congressman Bob Goodlatte, and I've introduced the Innovation Act to do just that. It's an ambitious bill aimed at protecting and promoting American innovation and intellectual property. Despite the current political climate in Washington, it's one of the few issues that we agree on. Believe it or not, protecting intellectual property isn't a modern invention. In fact, it was so important to our founding fathers that they included patent protection in the Constitution. Unfortunately, patent trolling has been around almost as long. A patent troll is someone that makes their money by filing frivolous lawsuits against companies with the hope that these companies will pay a fee to settle rather than go to court. They don't manufacture anything, they don't create jobs. Instead, they're siphoning money from companies that do. It's nothing more than legalized extortion. And they're having an increasingly destructive impact on the American economy. Just how dangerous can patent trolling be? To answer that, let's take a look at one of America's greatest innovators, Henry Ford, who brought us the affordable automobile. He was sued by a troll who claimed to have invented the automobile. After years of legal struggles, Ford prevailed and pushed the Model T into mass production, and the rest is history. But what if he hadn't won? What if he'd been stripped of everything he had worked so hard to create? Without the rapid spread of the inexpensive automobile to drive our economy, would America have surged with productivity in the 20th century? I bet you're wondering why this should matter to you. Well, without mass production, cars might have remained novel, luxury items, so expensive that only the super rich could afford them. It's simple, really. Paying off patent trolls increases the cost of doing business. Manufacturers pass that cost along to wholesalers. Wholesalers pass it along to retailers. And retailers pass it along to you, the consumer. And it's not just large corporations that are targeted. Startups and small businesses make up more than 50% of the defendants in patent troll lawsuits. In every place you shop, from grocery stores to restaurants, from online retailers to car dealerships, patent trolling takes money directly out of the pockets of hardworking Americans just like you. The Innovation Act will eliminate the abuses of our patent system by discouraging frivolous patent litigation. It will bring our patent laws up to date. Support the Innovation Act today. Together we can defeat patent trolling for good and bring American patent law into the 21st century. Want to learn more? Visit us online or follow us on Twitter. And don't forget to use the Innovation Act hashtag to get the latest information.